knowledge. It really is. And like every time I say this, people debate it to the end of time. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I will show you how to create this topography reels in CapCut PC. So let's get started. First, I have this clip. Then I will simply go to captions and hit generate. It will get automatically generate my captions. This may take few minutes or few seconds right here. Now, once my captions are being generated, I will simply go to captions right here and and now I will separate the words. Just hit where you want to separate and simply press enter. Then again right here and again do this for all of the video like this and like this simply just and i will delete the extra part right here and i have 20 and million subscriber now once our words are separated i will just simply click on one and go to text disable apply to all and simply drag it to the position where you want to place it like this now i will simply change a font and i will go with this one trend it's looking good and i will increase its font size like this now i will just simply zoom in and change the color to the color you want i will go with this or i can go with i will go with yellow scroll down and simply choose shadow to make the text more depth like this you can add glow as well but i don't need it it's not looking good so i will simply just disable the glow like here now i will just move and like this now again i will play and i will just bring this upward like here and simply drag this forward so once this appears i will simply make it bigger and place it like this here and change its font to you can use different fonts like this or you can choose any font you like make sure it's different so it look good it gives good vibes and again i will simply change my color and shadow or i will go with white with this one like this so it will give us this and again i will simply apply a few animations go to select both and go to animation and just use fade in and i will just simply again go to font and make sure my font is selected and this now once this is created i will move forward and simply drag this up and extend this one make sure to simply change the font again and place it at a different location like this and again move forward and copy these and simply paste it right here change the color if you want and i will change it into a font and simply scroll down and add shadow you can choose any color of shadow i am choosing black to make it stand out from the screen and for this one i will also add shadow like this so it will give us this look and i will simply also again this and drag this forward to make it look more good and again the font i will choose poppins for this one simply just make it bigger apply some shadow and change the font you want you can choose any font i will choose this one for this and simply scale it up and place it you can like this so it's looking like this and again simply for the i will repeat the same process change this font change color and apply a few animations to it you have just do the same for all these and your output will be ready like this and change color change font and like this and simply make to move this upward and drag this here and for this you can simply choose another font i will choose this and from here you can simply make per case like this or just lower cases and the first will be uppercase and from here you can choose bold 
and from here pattern you can simply draw a line like this and for this you can transform your text into italic font like this and from characters you can make sure to if you disable uh, if you decrease them it will text will merge and if you simply increase them the spacing between the letters of the text will start to grow and for this alignment you can simply align these text wherever you want like this and if you can choose these preset styles as well like this if you don't need to edit and if you have less time then again you can add a background to this like this and if you can see and then again you can add stroke like, like this and that's all if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one until then take care and bye